Hello and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate a scene transition like this in After Effects. So for that, these are the illustrations we are going to use in this lesson. So first, we are going to prepare the illustration file for animation in After Effects. For that, we are going to separate the layers such that the elements that we are going to animate in After Effects separately should be in a separate layer and properly named. So first, I started with the scene 1. So in scene 1, we have a chimney, then few buildings and few shadow buildings in the background. We have kept all of it in a separate layer. So we have kept the moon and the clouds as a common element for both the scenes. So we have separated these elements only for one scene. And then we have moved on with that scene 2. So here we have windmills, few bushes, grass and a solar cell and few background mountains. So we have kept all of it in a separate layer. And now the layers are all separated and the file is ready for animation. So now we are going to jump on to the After Effects and start with the animation process. So in After Effects, I have first imported the illustration files, then started making the folder structure in the project panel, then proceeded with the scene 1 animation. So now I am pre-comping the layers of the elements that belong to the same object, such as for buildings, there are windows that are in a separate layer and doors in a separate layer. So we are pre-comping it all together for the chimney with the smoke. We are going to pre-comp it together. So like this, we have pre-comped the object so that we have lesser number of layers in the main timeline. So next, I moved on with the moon animation. In the moon animation, I have added some scale up and scale down movement in the reflection layers. So I have added three set of scale keyframes. And after that, I have added a loop expression, which is loop in plus loop out minus the value. Then I changed the blending mode of these reflection layers to soft light. And this is how it looks. Then I moved on with the clouds animation. To add some movement in the clouds, I have first added a circle shape. Then I animated the circle shape in the X axis. After that, I have added some scale up and scale down movement. After that, I have added loop expression on both of these properties. And then I have duplicated this layer multiple times and this is how it looks. Then I added an adjustment layer here in the timeline. After that, I have applied an effect called Gaussian Blur and adjusted the blur value. After that, I have added an effect called Matte Choker and then adjusted the value of Choke 1 value and the Gray Level Softness 1 value. Then I pre-combed all these circle shapes and then added a rectangle shape on top of it, which is used as an alpha mat. And now it's looking like a cloud. After that, I moved on with the smoke animation, which is coming out of chimney. So for that, I have added a circle shape and then animated the position property of the layer. After that, also added some scale keyframes on it and adjusted the motion path of the ship. Now after that, I have added loop expression on these two properties and then duplicated the layer multiple times. On these layers, I have varied the motion path so that we can add some variation in the smoke. After that, I again duplicated the shape multiple times and then added more variations. And then I have just duplicated it multiple times and offset the layers so that we can add some more variation to the smoke. After that, I pre-combed all these circle shapes and then added an adjustment layer on top of it. And then I have copied the effects from the adjustment layer of the cloud and pasted it in this adjustment layer so that we can get the exact same effect over here. Then I duplicated the chimney composition multiple times and placed it on top of the background chimney's illustration and added a fill effect to get the same kind of effect of the background illustration. Now it's time to animate the transition. So first we are going to animate the in animation. For that, I'm going to bring in the individual elements of scene one with masking. So animating the chimney first, I have animated the chimney only in the Y axis. So I have pushed the chimney layer down below the ground level. And after that, I have adjusted the timing a bit and then adjusted the motion graph. So this is the motion graph and the timing will be used throughout the transition scene. 
for all the elements of in and out animation for both scene 1 and scene 2. Then I moved on with the buildings animation. So for the buildings animation I have done the same thing. So I have pushed the building layer down from the ground level. But this time I have parented all the windows and the door with the building background shape layer. And when it's appearing from the ground, the windows are popping up even the door. So for this one, I have kept exactly the same timing as the chimney appearing animation to keep the overall animation consistent. So then I followed the same process for animating the background elements of this scene one. Once the scene transitions are animated, then I added some parallax effect in the transition by varying the position property keyframe. So in a parallax effect, the elements that are closer to the camera move faster compared to the elements that are far away from the camera. So like that, I have varied the position property keyframes to vary the speed of the transition elements. And here is how the whole scene looks. So then I moved on with the scene 2 animation. So first I pre-combed the layers that belongs to the same object. Then I immediately moved on with the solar cell. So the solar cell have some reflection layer on top of it. These are nothing but few black solid layers. So I pre-combed the reflection layers and then changed the blending mode to overlay. And then used the solar cell top layer as the alpha track mat. So during the transition of the solar cell, I'm going to add a fake 3D movement in the solar cell. For that, I have simply scaled it down in Y axis. And then for the edge, there is a shape layer. So I'm animating the path property of the shape. And this is how it looks. Now for the grass, I reused the animation from one of my previous animation project. But in short, I have used pin tool to animate the grass. So I have added few pins. Then I have converted the pins into bone layer with the help of the Twig Bezier plugin and then added rotation keyframe in a loop. So I have basically added three set of rotation keyframes, then added a loop expression on top of it. And then I have just offset the keyframes to add some follow through. For the bushes layers, I have added wiggle expression on the scale property of each of the semicircles of these bushes layers. And then for the windmill, I have added one full 360 degree rotation and then added loop expression so that we can get this animation in a loop. And then varied the timing to check out how it looks in different timing. So I have slowed it down a bit later on. Then I moved on with the transition animation of the scene. So for that, I have followed the exact same process like the scene one. So I have moved all the elements in the Y axis First, I have moved it down and then it's appearing from the ground. And then I have varied the speed a bit to add some parallax effect during the transition. And once the transition in animation is done, to make the out animation, I have simply copied and pasted the transition in keyframes and just reversed the keyframe order. After that, I have used a track mat for this scene to animation, so I have added a rectangle layer and simply added a track mat so that it looks like it's appearing from underground and it is going down in the underground. After both the transition animations are done, I have timed it out. And after that, I have changed the color of the background during the transition. So the pollution scene is in a night theme and then the windmill scene converts into a day scene. So this is how I have updated the color of the background and then I have updated the color of the clouds. Then change the color of the moon to some lighter color to convert it into a sun. And later on I realized that it would look good if I move the sun and the moon in the opposite direction. So I animated it like a slider. So when the scene transition is happening, the moon is moving from one corner of the scene to the other corner of the scene, just like a slider. So this is how you can animate a scene transition like this in After Effects. By the way, if you want to learn how to animate smoke in full details, then I have a detailed tutorial on it. You can check it out 
I will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Also if you want to learn how to animate a grass like this, then I have a similar tutorial on it. For that you can check out this plant animation. The techniques used are exactly same. So I will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. So that is it for this video. If you like the video then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then goodbye.